A grim situation in China. Rescuers continue to search the wreckage of a China Eastern plane that inexplicably crashed into the mountains yesterday. 132 people were on board. The focus now is on finding out what caused this disaster. Thousands of firefighters and soldiers have been scouring heavily forested hillsides in search of survivors. Debris has been seen scattered across mountain slopes in southern Guangxi. Workers have found burnt identity cards, purses, cell phones and other belongings. Search teams have placed evidence markers near the pieces of wreckage. The rough terrain has complicated search and rescue efforts. Excavators have been used to clear a path to the crash site. Drones have been deployed to help recover the plane's black boxes. The China Eastern Airlines flight was en route from Kunming to Guangzhou when it suddenly plunged and crashed into a remote area in Tang County. 123 passengers and nine crew members were on board. Family members of the passengers on board have been waiting anxiously at Guangzhou Bayun Airport for news about their loved ones. China Eastern has grounded its fleet of Boeing 737-800 jets as investigations continue into the cause of the crash. And Lo Min Min joins us live from Shanghai. Min Min, the investigation team expected to hold a briefing this evening. Has anything been established at this point? The State Council is holding a briefing tonight. No official timing has been given, but we received unofficial notice that it could happen any time in the next hour, and they are going to brief us on the latest progress of the search, as well as their search methods and how they plan to uncover this elusive black box. It is a 20 by 20 by 60 centimeters box uh, that uh, rescue teams have said is very difficult to find in a forested area, but it's critical that we find that box because it contains data from a cockpit voice recorder as well as a flight data recorder that could explain why this plane that was flying at an altitude of over 8,000 meters comfortably would suddenly take such a near vertical nose dive of, uh, at a high speed of over 9,000 meters per second. And so now, all we have is speculation from aviation experts who say that uh, the pilot could possibly have crashed the plane deliberately or else the aircraft would ha uh, has uh, some form of serious malfunction. But so far, a lot is still very uncertain. All that's certain is that it sparked a lot of fear of flying here in China. 50% of the flights in Kunming Airport has been cancelled, and China Eastern Airlines had to cancel nearly 90% of their flights. As long queues form at the Guangzhou Airport, people are waiting to ask for refunds and for flight cancellations. Amendment, given this public fear and also this speculation, how are authorities handling the investigation? Vice Premier Liu He went down to Guangxi personally to oversee the search and rescue operations, but so far there is no good news. No human remains have been found as of now, and all we have are remnants of people's belongings, a hairband, a, a identity card, wallet, cash, uh, and phones. That's all we've seen so far, and the, any hope of finding survivors is just dimming by the day and by the second. But nevertheless, the rescue team is... 
uh, prepared to work overnight tonight. They are going to comb the area grid by grid to uncover survivors as well as this black box that is still missing. Uh, the biggest challenge right now is that there is no power at this remote mountainous area, but they seem to have solved that overnight with the local power department setting up temporary lines into the area, bringing in floodlights, generators, lighting drones to ensure that the rescue team can work throughout the night. Uh, we know that family members are now rushing to the scene and the local transportation bureau have provided transport, buses and taxis to pick them up from the airport to go to this uh, site of the crash. Uh, and as they wait for uh, news anxiously throughout this night again for their family members. Oh, thanks for that update. Lo Min Min there in Shanghai.